Hello guys, this is Deepika and welcome back. So in this tutorial, I will show you how you can download an IDE for Salesforce development. So far, what we have done is I gave you an overview of Workbench. I gave you an overview of how the developer console works. But now we're going to go ahead and start some real development using the Visual Studio Code. So the Visual Studio Code is an IDE that has been referred or recommended by Salesforce. There's another IDE that I usually um, I use at work is the Illuminated Cloud. And I have downloaded the Salesforce extension pack and we can do the same exact thing with the Illuminated Cloud IDS also. It is pretty cool as well. So whichever you wanted to use, you can go ahead and use that. But in this particular course, we will talk about the Visual Studio Code. So in order to download the Visual Studio Code, first thing, there are a couple of prerequisites. So the first requisite that we have is we need to have a Salesforce CLI. Then we're going to go ahead and have a Java platform, which is basically a Java development kit, either version 8 or version 11. So you have to have those. And then we can go ahead and download the Visual Studio Code. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to download the Salesforce CLI. So I'm going to go to my Chrome and I'm going to say download Salesforce CLI. And here I'll click on the first link. And then it'll ask me for which machine do you want to download. I have a Windows machine, so I'm going to download for Windows 64. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, under my downloads, I will install my SFDX. And then I'm going to hit the save. I already have it, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. First thing we're going to download is the Salesforce CLI. Let's go ahead and install this one. So I'm going to go click on this one. Okay, so it has downloaded. Now let's go ahead and double click on that. Okay, so it'll ask, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes. And then hit next. This is the path for the Salesforce CLI. Install. It might take a few minutes to go ahead and install the Salesforce CLI. Then going back here, we also need to download the Java development environment. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. Java SE Development Kit 11 download. So let's go ahead and download this. So here I'm using a Windows machine. So I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows 64. This is JDK 11. So let's go ahead and download this. Click on this checkbox and download this JDK. So in the meantime, it's asking me to create an account. You have to set up your account here, create your Oracle account, country. And then hit create account. And then hit create account here. Okay, so it's going to send you a verification email. So let's go ahead and uh, go to my Gmail here. I have received a verification email from Oracle. And then just say, request a new verification. So this is done. Email address I've already provided. Use this email address. And it's going to send me another email to verify my email address. Okay, so it sends verify your Oracle account email address. Okay, so let's go ahead and verify this address. Continue. Now we are ready to use. Now we have to go ahead and download. Okay, so the first thing is I'll go back to my the same place here where I have to click on the Java kit download. And then here I'm going to say download this kit and I will use my Windows 64 installer. Click on this one. I will accept the terms and then I will click on download button here and it is asking me to set up a account. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up this. It's asking me to download. So let's go ahead and hit the save. So it's downloading now. Let's see where the installation has done. So this Salesforce CLI has been successfully installed. Hit the close button. So we're almost there. So we have Salesforce CLI. Now we are downloading our Java development kit. And then the last thing that we have is 
to download the Visual Studio Code. So let's go ahead and download our Visual Studio Code as well. So let's go here, download, just type in Visual Studio Code and it is going to ask you which machine you wanted. Mine's in Windows, so I'm gonna go ahead and click here. And then here, it's gonna go ahead and start downloading, okay, save. So they are getting downloaded. Once they have been downloaded, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install it. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.